Hi everybody, Jeff Simon here from Social Flight with a very exciting build stage on our Titan T51D Mustang. Well, we've been working on all these things you've seen from our avionics, panel, fuselage for a long time and it is finally time to do the final assembly on our windshield, our top, the nose, everything that we've got going on here. Get it all finally buttoned up and put together so this thing really looks like a Mustang. Now, one of the things that we have to do in order to make this happen is to work on our access panels because on uh, the uh, part of the nose that we've got here, which you can see, this is going to go across the top of the nose and as you saw, it has two access panels in it which are uh, really important for being able to get access to a lot of the wiring and other things going on in the Mustang and even get down there where the uh, rudder puddles are and the brakes, etc. if we need to in the future so we don't have to hang upside down in this tandem fuselage aircraft. But in order to make this happen, we need to be able to put on nut plates so they can be removed uh, very easily and uh, are very secure. The way that's done is we're using these doublers that you can see here that have to actually, they'll be riveted in place, but the important part is the nut plates that are going on this so that the actual access panels that you see here that have holes going around the perimeter can just have screws put through them in order to make all of that happen. Now, the nut plates that we're going to use are these that you can see right here in this bag. They are MS21069. Uh, they are uh, number eight screws, but what they are that makes them different from what you might have seen in the past is these are mini nut plates. I'm a real fan of these. They work very, very well. And as you can see from this, these are very, very small. And so even though they still accept a number eight screw, they don't take as much of a footprint in what they're going to go into. And since these doublers are essentially gonna be curved with the nose, we don't want the nut plates themselves to be in the way and restricting the curvature of that piece. And so using these mini nut plates, it's gonna be really, really great. So the first step that I'm gonna do is install those. And the key to installing those is this tool right here. This is a drill jig for one of those nut plates, and it has two sides to it that you can see here. The first side that you use has simply the pilot hole. That's this one right here that comes up. You drill a number 18 uh, hole, you put this in there, down, and then you go through the first pilot hole, which is just a uh, number 40 drill bit for a, uh, a, a 330 second uh, flush rivet that's gonna go into there. And then you flip it over and it has two, it has a pin in the second one that you can see right here. Flip it over, put it down there, there's a second pilot hole, and now you've got it all lined up. Boom, boom, everything's drilled, everything's in alignment put those rivets in and your nut plate is done. So that's it, that's the first step we're going to do and then we're just gonna start putting things on and you're gonna be amazed at the transformation that the nose of our Titan T51D Mustang takes. Come along, let's do this step and just get moving.
All right, the last step to do before the riveting starts on all of these nut plates is that we have to dimple those rivet holes that hold the nut plates in place. As you can see from each of these, you have uh, little holes that go for the 332nd rivets on each side. Those have to be dimpled. And I'm gonna do it using this really cool, very, very simple tool. It's a modified uh, pair of vice grips. You can buy these uh, on a bunch of different sources online. They're very easily available. And all you need to do, they have dies that are welded right into place that do the dimpling. And so um, all you need to do when you're ready to do it is you simply go, put them into place like this, and just clamp. That's it. Pop it off and the dimple is done. It's good to go. And so I'm just going to go around each of these pieces, do that, and we can get riveting and then putting everything back together. And there you have it. Here's the piece. It's all in place. You can barely see the panels. They fit so beautifully in there. I mean, really just barely see how they, uh, how they go in. And uh, on the back side is where you can see where the real work is done. That's where all the uh, nut plates are. Everything's in place. And now we can get to putting these panels on. These uh, doublers are gonna have to be uh, glued and riveted into place as well. And then we'll just start building the nose. All right, before the top skin can go on the nose right here in the front, we have to do one last step. And that is to put these uh, shims into place. And what these become is the mounting surface for the rest of the cowl that goes over the engine. 
And so we already have now these little tabs. These are going to go onto the rails that essentially are, think of it as the spars for the nose bowl. Um, but what we need to do with these shims is put half underneath the skin that's from the aft one and half forward. That way we have a nice uh, flange surface here that we can uh, mount uh, uh, Southco fasteners or whatever fastener we're going to use moving forward from there so that we can take and put in pieces of the aluminum moving forward from this point on. So I'm going to clamp this uh, little uh, shim into place <clears throat> and then I'm going to match drill going from inside to outside here and uh, do the rest of the clicoing. We'll have these in and then we can get ready to glue those, glue the skin. Let's get to work. Well, that's the end of a very important prep stage for a big build stage that's coming up. Next week, you are gonna to get to see us put together one of the most dramatic builds that have happened in our entire build of this aircraft. You're gonna see the windshield, the nose, everything come together. It is so, so, so cool. I can't wait to show that to you. But you know, this prep work is really important and so is understanding nut plates. This is something that you can use, of course, and apply to certified aircraft or experimental aircraft, repairs that you may need to do, access panels that you may need to do. And so understanding doublers and how to work with those nut plates and things like this drill jig that we use in order to very quickly be able to drill all the support holes and get these uh, things all set up are really important. And, uh, and I happen to be a big fan, as I mentioned, of those little mini nut plates. So if you have to do one on your project, now you know a little bit more, hopefully, about how to do it. And we're all set, and we'll see you next time with that super, super cool build stage on our Mustang. Until next time, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight. Be sure to check out socialflight.com and the free mobile apps for your Apple or Android devices. We have tens of thousands of aviation events, destinations our weekly email that shows you all the cool things happening in your area. We've got our Fly to Win Challenge where you can win prizes that are just amazing. Um, we've got, of course, our FAA Learning Center where you can take courses and get wings credits. If you're a mechanic, you can participate in the Aviation Maintenance Technician Program. If you're an IA, you can get your eight hours of recurrent education for your renewal of your IA, all free all within social flight. We're just here to support general aviation and spread the word. And so help us do that. Uh, subscribe, like, spread the word to other people about social flight. We're just here to contribute to the community. And of course, you wanna see community, join us every Tuesday night for Social Flight Live, where I'm there live with a new guest every week. Some of the most amazing people from air and space and the military. It's really, really fascinating. And that's just on Social Flight live.com. Until next time again, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight and I wish you all blue skies.